Oh, yes. Come on, Josh. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. All right, we're just gonna keep this short and sweet. Basically, it's our beginning. I'm heading to the UCSD Triad Invitational this weekend. I'm gonna run the Open 800. I'm hoping for a new PR, uh, some big times, and let's just get right into it. Let's go. This is how you get good luck with the track. I'm gonna start doing this every single track go to. I got the power. Did you just steal the track's energy? I just stole the track's energy, that's got all crazy. the power for tomorrow, and that's the time I'm gonna run right there. See that? Oh, snap! That's what I'm running tomorrow in the eight. You should have videotaped it earlier <laughs> when it's at 151. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Uh, we just got done with our 25 minute shakeout run. I was the only person on the team who did strides because I'm the only intelligent one. Uh, if y'all, if y'all. I gotta get revenge here at UCSD. You gotta get revenge. Last time at UCSD. Just keep like, talking, just keep talking. Last, last time when I was here at UCSD. <laughs> <laughs> last time when I was here at UCSD, it was, right, it was like right over there, bro. I felt it. Came over here. Felt it. What did you over. feel? <laughs> Y'all see the moon? What? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's cr How was that out at the same time that that is out? Bro, what are you talking about, man? When we were on our 25 minute run, I met the. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just finished eating at this Vietnamese place. Uh, they had some like, uh, I had uh, what was it? Some soft noodles or something like that. So I don't know if that was the best pre-night meal, dinner meal. Usually I have like pasta or something like that. This dude's mocking me over here, but whatever. I think it was good to have vegetables and stuff like that. Maybe a little high on sodium, but we'll see how it affects me in the race tomorrow. I'm chilling with it though. It was a good meal. It was. There wasn't. Stop. Hey. 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 Hey, yeah, bro. Yeah, we we just ate food, and then I don't know what we're about to do right now. We're just gonna chill, get ready for the race tomorrow, and uh, yeah, this man just keeps on talking. That's it. We're gonna go to bed now. Uh, Sorry, Josh. <laughs> yeah, hey, this man's dying. I might not run fast. <laughs> and uh, just time to get some rest and ready up and. I, I like to think when I definitely go to sleep or really imagine the race and dreaming about the race, that's my best preparation and in going into meet. So if that helps you, I don't know it helps me, but it's time to, get, it's time to go to bed. Anything, anything you got to say, Dan? <coughs> uh, wish us luck. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So just got done eating breakfast. Okay, Robbie's coming over. <laughs> 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 then you get breakfast. It's not recording. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> just got done eating breakfast and go back to room uh, and just chill and get ready for the race. That race boy night. spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I got the compressions on, bro? They really got me messed up with the shorts. Come on, bro. But yeah, getting ready for the race now. About to leave like in 30 minutes. Just trying on the stuff to see how it fits. Haven't worn this top yet. But yeah, just getting focused into that mindset. But when I get into that mindset, I don't really like, I don't watch races or watch motivational stuff. Yeah! What? I like to watch this like kid. <laughs> I'm getting in that race mindset watching Shrek right now. Just really trying to relax and getting ready for this. You gotta get on that track and take back our swamp. <laughs> a quest to get my swamp back.
quedamos en el San Diego Track Meet, uh, Triton Invitational. Invitacional, como acá. You know, 800 metros a toda madre. I got that 800. 800 meter at 2 p.m., baby. Let's go. Let's go. You got that? We're at the meet, getting ready. It's waiting game now. Let's go. What are, you, what are you doing? Jesus, oh my gosh. Are you recording all of them? Yeah, alright. What's up everyone? Rosie Project. It's your boy here, David, once again, here at San Diego. I'm gonna record Josh's race and a few other guys on the team. Here with JJ. How's it going? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, basically we're just gonna record everyone's race. Um, especially Josh because this is his vlog, but yeah. We wish them luck and hope they kick or oh oh my god I've been cussing so much. Hope they do well. Come on Mario! Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event, 800. Nah, I'm, I'm joking. I'm, I don't even know if that was funny. But yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a little play-by-play. -play. So basically, going into this race, the goal was I knew I was in a slower heat. I didn't, didn't want to be, even though like this was the times that I was at, I wanted to be in a faster heat where I could be more in a position to PR and stuff, and stuff like that. So like my goal time to get out was 56. That's why I wanted to hit, then I wanted to hit 126 or 127 at the 6. And basically, it kind of just turned into a time trial after the first 100. As you can see, as we passed through the 3, and I'm basically running by myself, and it was pretty much like that for the next five for the next 300 meters. I was literally just all by myself. Yeah, so the first lap was basically perfect. Then on the back stretch, I slowed down a lot. I think my 200 was a 32. Then I closed this last 200 two seconds slower than that. Josh, kick. You hear David? Kick, bro. Kick. Go. Why aren't you? And this dude runs me down. But I think it was just not being able to run anybody. It just turned into sort of a time trial type of race and when that happens for me definitely at this time where i'm usually chasing people i think i just wasn't ready to run by myself and i just got lost and fell asleep at the wheel uh joshua potts yes sir um how would you say that race went for you the first and you know what my 600 was here on the uh, first the final lap in 150 yeah. the after that, out of the track. Track. Yeah. yeah when i ran like 56 yeah. 65 yeah. that's disgusting <laughs> that's horrible i wish i was on a fast team but yeah. i should have ran yeah i should be able to close better yeah at least you uh, went for it yeah. yeah i showed that i could run it but yeah what do you think you have to do on your behalf to, you know, for your next race, close it, you know, finish the job? Run where someone's pulling me. Mm -hmm. I think it's just too hard right now to go yeah. by myself. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Get away from Dominic Yeah. Well, next great one. job, Josh. All right. So you saw my race this time? I did. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. About your race. So, dude, that was bad. Anything you gotta say to people? Just gotta keep grinding, man. Turn your biggest L to your biggest dub. That's mm. all I gotta say. Yes, keep grinding. Hey, I know, I know it may hurt, it. bro. I know it may hurt to to have to experience that. You feel me? Just gotta keep working, though. You welcome, At least you saw my race this time. Yes. Thank you. For that. I'm I just, you know, she's amazing. Yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna record my race? Oh, oh okay, that's cool. Uh, we'll get back to it. Here we back, here we back, here we back, here we back. Rap just made me anxious, and that shit made me crazy. Them squares just made me looser, that wax just made me lazy, and I still want to be a four by four, and when I found out today. They, they stopped the 4x4 four four and Mario was going to be in the 5k and I wasn't. I was like, alright, just because Mario's doing it, I have to do it. I'm not, like about, I'm not about to be second hand to Mario. <laughs>
So now I'm, yet. In the, I'm in here for six laps, probably the hardest six laps of my life. You're dumb. How <laughs> <laughs> good looking you guys are. Stay tuned for the podcast. Watch out for my brother, better bet I'll take that deal. Gotta watch out for my mother, get a watch with all that glitters. Come in clutters, different colors. Been a baller, been for Butler, chauffeur, hit a stainer. Did I stutter? Did a ton of drugs and did better than all my all my mother. Sun is in, Galilee, make a joke, I'll end no tear, then biggie back on balance fleet. Balancing on sport, this city if me up pure joy. Nightly searches for our bed, and I just came off tour with Troy. But I can't complain, I got some other big up in business. How many lap partners have I felt since I got suspended? Cause you did it, 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 you did it. San Diego track athletes, if you could please report to the stand. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel? I feel more relaxed than I thought I was. It was a little slower than I usual. But I just feel like I need to just go on back on the track. It's working. Hey, hey. Man, if you made it to the end of this video, you're really a trooper. I really appreciate that. And especially everybody in that mad San Diego too. I had a couple people come up to me said that they really liked the videos and enjoyed watching them sometimes or even all the time. And they really, some people said it inspired them. So it was funny. I really appreciate all that love and stuff like that. And basically all I have to say for the rest of this video is that my brother and my mom were telling me after about my race about this and just any time that you experience like failure in your life, you kind of have like two choices really when you really think about it. It's either you keep on grinding or you quit. And I was thinking about that and I'm all like, I'm not ready to quit yet. So I guess we grinding. Yeah, so let's just roll the outro music. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And see y'all next time. I dare you to take a little pain. We're not just here to take part. We're here to take over. Tell him. Tell him. Thank you. Where did I go?